Hey everybody, um, this is Rock Paper Mario for the first time in almost a month and we are playing Echo Jr. and I'm planning on doing the entirety of this game in one video. It's going to be fun. That's Echo Jr. as you can see. Um, I love this music by the way. This music always reminds me for some reason. Well, it's kind of like it of... Do you know that part in Ferris Bueller where Cameron decides that he's going to like grin and bear whatever his dad is going to do to him over the car? And they, like, there's music kind of like this. That's what this music always reminds me of and I love that music in that film so... Why not? Do you know that kind of way? So, um, let's just get started here. Echo Jr. is usually seen as like a... It's an alternative to Echo and Echo 2, but for kids. Um, now you can play as either Echo or you can play as this dolphin, and I don't know what this dolphin's name is. Um, I don't know, we'll call him Fungi. And you can also play as the Orca, but I don't know what his name is either, so we'll call him Willy. So we have Echo Jr., who's Echo's son. We have um, Willy and we have Fungi, but we're going to play as Echo Jr., so let's just go. Um, use your sonar to find your friends and then use it to find the exit glyph. Okay, now basically Echo Jr. is impossible to lose, okay? Um, you cannot run out of air, you cannot die, you cannot do anything except have fun enjoying the the game, Joda Kunaway. And I like games like this sometimes, Joda Kunaway. Basically, it's for kids. But I don't think, like, not only can, like, I have plenty of fun playing it. As you can see, these jellyfish don't hurt us, you know. Um, basically what we've got to do is use our sonar and it'll pick things up. So as you can see, it said Rage, or like Lisa and Ray is coming from down there. So you press C to go faster. And there he is, and we've got to sonar him. Come on, I'll sonar you. There we go. And now he's going to go away going to go about. I don't even know what happens to him, but he goes on his merry way anyway. So, Mr. Mister Puff is over here, apparently. So, that's basically like, the majority of this game is, like, fetch quests. Like, go find this guy, and go find that guy, and then go to the gate crystal, which you'll know if you've played Echo 1 or 2. Um, that's basically what the game is about. It's basically for... Like an easy game for kids, do that kind of way. It's not hard at all. No, I want to keep his echo. I paused by accident. We might um change things up. Uh, um, in the middle, we might play as Fungi or as a ta as a Tara. Why did Tara? Is the whale's name Tara? I must have read that somewhere. I don't know. Sing at all of the crystals which are sonar. Why did Tara pop into my head? Is the whale's name Tara? Maybe. As usual, the music is absolutely amazing in this game. Echo, Echo, e the Echo games just have, like, for those of you who haven't played Echo 1 and 2, like, maybe I should explain this now. Echo 1 and 2 are two of the hardest games ever made in the history of the world. They are not, like, for the faint of heart, you that kind of way. And that's why, like, I, I use... I rented out Echo 1 a couple of times, like I rented it out like more than once, like about three or four times, and I adored it. But I never knew, like I was never able to play it because I was small, and it's a, a ridiculously hard game. Like even the first proper level, the one where you have to... Even the first proper level where you have to like sneak past the octopus and stuff, even that is pretty hard, do you know that kind of way? Um, like, but I didn't play it because of that. Like, the reason I played it was because I absolutely adored its atmosphere. And the same with Echo 2. Like, the music is absolutely breathtaking. Like, Echo and Echo 2, and this game as well, have absolutely mind-blowing soundtrack. Look how fast you can go if you don't bang into things. Woo! Um, and that's why I love this game, is because... It has all the things I like about Echo 1 and 2, namely the undersea atmosphere, the going around underwater, the amazing music, do you know that kind of way? It has all of that, but it's not cripplingly difficult. Now, that's not to say that I don't play Echo 1 and 2, because I do play them. I still haven't finished either of them. 
they're those games, they're probably those games that I will never finish. So the way there are games like that that you just know, I'm never going to finish them. So that kind of way. Okay, that was weird. That Like, the way it clashed like that. Um, but yeah, Echo 1, 2 and Echo Jr. Definitely, they're ones to try out because they're just... They're really must plays, I must say, Jodakin away. More lost friends are waiting to be found. See, here we go again, we're having the... Now we need to find a seahorse, a thing, and a thing. Well, that thing in the middle looks like an, a football fish or an angler fish or whatever. Well, there he is, okay, hi there. Were you invisible a second ago? Look at his derpy eyes! And the thing on the right looks like an anemone. Uh, okay, nothing there. I was actually down by the sea the other day because we actually got good weather the other day because, like, let me tell you this, guys. This summer, like, has been the worst summer I, in my 22 years, have ever seen. Like, I must say... Um... I must say, it is the worst summer that I've ever seen, sunshine-wise. Just that kind of way. Because... I could count on, so far, like, starting in June, like, let's say for the whole of June, May as well wasn't that good either. June, let's say, starting in June. Um... This guy is hard to find, is he? Where is he? There you are. Found you. Um... Between June, July, and so far in August, I could count on my fingers, like that's ten fingers. I could count on my fingers the amount of days where it hasn't rained, you know? It's like, it has been, it has actually been the wettest summer on record this year. And it has been the coldest summer in 40 years. So like those two things together, I would say, qualify it as being the worst summer ever, you know? Hey Seal, are you going to sing to me? About the kiss from the rose of the dead. Now the ball is over here somewhere. This ball actually can be a bit annoying. But see, this is the thing. I love this game. And I think this is a good game to kind of get back into LPing about which, you know. Okay, now we, now we have like moving puzzles just like an echo. But they're not as bad. Okay, come on, ball. You are able to get these things stuck on your nose, and that works in your favour if you can manage to do that. Look, see, like, I got it, uh, I had it stuck on my nose there for a while. The thing will float. It'll float. Now, I don't know why they have this thing here. Because it doesn't do anything. Um, they do do things in later levels, but they have it here just for decoration, it seems. Oh, did I push it out of water? Cool, wait a sec. Let's try that again. No, not like that Echo. Maybe the whale's name is Tara. I don't know, I'm gonna call him Willy anyway. Okay, this is where things get... Let's see, let me see. No, I, I said sideways. This is probably the best way to do it. It's just to bump it along with your sonar. And we made the seal happy. Hello, seal! I'm going to dance with you. And then we just have to find the crystal, which is usually down, like, on the right-hand side of the level somewhere. That was nice, the way it kind of fitted in with the music there when I went through that gold music. There's something distinctively sour about that, like, victory team. That... There's something a little bit sour about it. Find the treasure, but watch out for... Oh, yeah, this. Oh, oh my god, this music. Like, as I say again, the music is amazing. Okay, first we have to find the treasure chest. See, there's the whale. There's Willy. Do you know, like in Free Willy? Do you know why there are three Free Willy? Do you know why there are three Free Willy films? Well, are they like the same whale every single time? See, look, he ch the the whale tried to um, steal the treasure or whatever. They'll do that. See, like that. No! Oh! 
He stole my treasure. I was nearly there. Well, no, I wasn't. I can get rid of these ones anyway. Is that okay? Can I go now? Oh, I don't need to get all of them? I thought I need to get all of them. Oh, no, it's okay. At least that dopey willy. Is that the same wheel in every willy film? Um, here's the musical rings. Like, is that the same willy in every film? Because I'm telling you guys. If that's the same goddamn whale that's in every single one of those films, he is the stupidest whale in the history of the entire world. Like, to get caught three times, and then they have to, like, free free him three times. Because there are three free willies, aren't there? Well, I know of three anyway. Maybe there are, like, ten of them. Knowing the stupidity of that particular whale, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, like, I should be doing this now. I, I haven't started talking. Ooh, is that one of them? There we go. I don't know if you can go around and get all of them and then, like, bring them all back, but they seem to... I don't know whether they all whether all the rings are here or whether they appear one at a time. But, um... Yeah, I just think, think like, I should explain, like, why there haven't been videos in almost a month. Um, really and truly, the only reason I can say is that I wasn't able to record, because the thing is, like, there were people... We were on holidays, so that kind of way. My dad's on holidays, my younger brother is on holidays, and, um... My younger brother is on holidays, and, uh... Do you know, I just don't have time at home, do you know, that kind of way. Um, get out of my way, shellfish. Um, I don't, I didn't have time at home until today. Um, today they're all gone out to the zoo or whatever, so I was like, okay, I haven't been able to record in a long time. I actually kind of want to record now. Um, so, like, that's the reason, like, it's no, like, it's, it wasn't, like, any particular reason that I did it, do you know, that kind of way. It was just that I wasn't able to, because, like, I... Like, I know I probably could record when there are people here, but it would turn out... I'm telling you guys now, it would turn out rubbish, because I just will have to... Get out. Hey, seal. I like the way you get to see, like, the guys from before, like, the guys from the previous levels. And they'll add them in, you know? Um... But yeah, like, the thing is, it would turn out crap because I just wouldn't feel comfortable if there were other people around, do you know what As well, I'm busy when there were other people around. I was actually busy this morning. Like, I could have been recording earlier this morning, but I, uh... I just, uh... Oh, you have to go right to left. Would you get in there?! Oh now we just start again. Okay, here we go. This is as bad as a uh, uh Dyer Dyer Docks. There we go. Um so yeah that's why like I'm not going recording when I Like I don't like I'm of the policy I don't record just for the sake of it, you know. And we're a third of the way through the game. I don't record just for the sake of it. If I want to record, it's because, uh... More great music. If I record, it's because I want to. It's because I have ample time to do it comfortably. Yeah, for some reason, the, the echolocation is quiet in this or something. The sound is kind of jacked up for some reason. I don't know. Basically, what we have to do is we have to tag our friend. No! And, uh, get to the crystal. There we go. See, fine and short. Some of these levels are short. No. Wait a second, maybe we should, like, change our character. For a little bit. Let's play as Willy. Hopefully we won't get caught. Okay, what's this one? Sing at the fish to chase them into the caves guarded by the seahorses. Um, okay. Well, let's play as, a uh, Willy for a while. <laughs> Do you speak whale? No, we're going to sing at the fish. Maybe some orca. Oh, oh, oh. 
Yeah, so instead of eating the fish, now we're singing at them. Are you the fish? Are you the fish? Are you the f Oh, do we need to give them to the seahorses or- Oh yeah, that's it. See, I didn't even read what we were doing. We have to- it's like- It's like- uh, Soccer, we have to get the fish in there. Okay. Or water polo or something. Come on in, fish. Holy crap, now that was a good one. I really like how all those chimes like layered over one. Okay, get in, fish. That fish is reminding me of a specific kind of fish, and I can't tell, remember what kind of fish it's reminding me of. But yeah, like the, what I would say is, don't uh, don't believe that this. Oh no, let's let's start. Let's let's finish the. F would you get in, you stupid fish? Oh, oh, or I'll eat you. Yeah, these are. I'm I'm pretty sure these are the same fish you eat in a uh, in Echo One and Two to like regain your health. Or else you can always, like, um, sing to the shelled ones to regain your health. But then, like, some of them, some of the shelled ones are poison. Okay, wait a second, this is, like, where am I going with this? Wait a second, I, was, I started off by saying I'm not going to record just for the sake of being able to upload every day. When I want, when I record, it's going to be because I want to, and because I have ample time to record comfortably, do you know that kind of way? And that's why I haven't been rec like. I, I I know I would have liked to keep things going, especially when I just started Paper Mario. Like especially because of that, but especially Bart, but especially Lisa. Which episode of The Simpsons does that come from? That's been in my head like for the last few days, and I'm pretty sure it comes from like an episode of The Simpsons where they're like giving out to Bart and Lisa or something, or Ray and Lisa. Can't you get in, the, you Moorish Idol? That's what those fish are called. Um, I'm pretty sure it comes from an episode of The Simpsons where they were like giving out to both Bart and Lisa, which when does that happen? And they're like, ESPECIALLY Bart, BUT ESPECIALLY Lisa. And I'm like, where does that come from? Some episode of The Simpsons anyway. Turtle Islands. Mother Turtle lost her egg. Help bring the baby turtle back to her. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Okay, where's the egg? There's the egg. Come on, hatch little eggy. Come on, little one. Come on, little one. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on, turtle. Turtle! Is it because I'm an enormous scary whale? Is that why you don't want to come with me? What if I squash you? There we go. <laughs> now that was a good one. Come on, see you can get them stuck on your nose. That's what I was trying to do. If you um. If you like a. Uh... Is that the mother turtle? No, that's a lobster. Man, this music, I could. Li like, that's what I was going saying is like. Just because this game is called Echo Jr. and it's a kid's game, like, it's, it's marketed at children because it's easy. Okay, this is Final Fantasy IX like music. This, that's what this music is kind of reminding me of, is Final Fantasy IX. But just because it's a, a kid's game, don't disregard it. It is like. It is so fun. Like, it is just very enjoyable. Octopus Police, find all the sword. F police! Passage! Find all the swordfish. <laughs> Octopus Police. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hey, swordfish. Okay, he disappeared. We disintegrated him. There's apparently something I didn't mention is that like the higher pitched the sonar is when it comes back to you, the closer you are. Like that's pretty self-explanatory, though. Like, listen. Woo! And if we go closer. Well, no, I didn't. <laughs> Trust me to screw up showing the one thing that's like. So, like, as I said, like, just since we did turtles, since we shot turtles in the last level, suddenly there's a turtle here. I think that's a really nice touch, that, like, the more, like, friends you collect, the more, um, 
gets added to the level. I think it's really nice, I don't know. Swordfish. Where are you, Swordfish? Swordfish is a film that I have never seen. Isn't John Travolta in that? But I remember, like, one time... The, my one memory of Swordfish, which I've never seen, which I think John Travolta's in it, or maybe it's something else that he's in. But, um, my one, like, memory that is associated with the film Swordfish, even though I've never seen it, is that one day we were going bringing videos back to, um... One day we were going bringing videos back to, uh, the video club. I don't know whether it was DVDs at that stage. I still call it the video club, even though... Okay, basically when I say video club, I mean places that you go to rent out videos and... Well, not videos, DVDs now. But I still call it the... Okay, how do you get to this place? Do we have to, like, go up and out like Willy Wonka? Is that what we have to do? No. You can go really fast if you, uh, don't bump into things. But, um... We are going returning videos at the video club, which was Extra Vision in... in Balancholic. D wait a second, and it was the new one, wasn't it? Yeah, it would have been. Uh, God, was that there then? Man, okay, I'm not making any sense. Basically, it was Extra Vision. Okay, I have to go down lower and then left. Come on, Willy. I almost called you Fungi, but you're not Fungi. The other guy's Fungi. Is Fungi dead? Does any of you know if Fungi is dead or if there's a new Fungi? I saw Fungi. <coughs> See, now we have to find the octopus. Who looks scarily like... Yeah, they, they use the same sprites from like Echo 1 and 2. So this octopus is going to look very like that scary octopus that you have to sneak past in a... Uh, in Echo 1. Are you the octopus? No, you're like a flower or something. Um, could I ever finish telling the swordfish story? Jeez, I'll be finished the swordfish level before I finish telling the swordfish story. Oh look, they pointed me at the, at the octopus. He's not as big as the one in Echo 1. Can I get past there? Come on, let me past you, stupid weed. There we go. Um, so yeah, like, so we were waiting in the car and my mom went in to return the videos and when she came back she was like, oh, um, I'm not going to say his, well no, I should, Mr. O'Connell was, okay, what do we have to do? Is this tag again? I didn't read what we have to do. Let's play as Fungi for this level. Boy! It sounds like, um... The music that isn't that in Super Mario Brothers 3? Boom Bum Bum Dun 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 Yeah it is I think. What's this? We have to find this guy and give him jewels. Um or give him joy Case okay, a swordfish story. Um My mom went in to return the videos. And she came out and she was like, oh, Mr. O'Connell was in their returning videos. And he was the teacher I had in third class. Um, and I was like, ah, a spider. No, I didn't say a ah, spider. I mean, I just saw a spider descending from the ceiling. Where are you? Are you down here in the depths of the ship? Where are you, you stupid dolphin? <laughs> It's saying you're over here, but I don't see you. Okay, we're getting close. There he is. Now get to the crystal. Oh, it was tag again. Okay, well, there we go. Um, so, like, I was like, oh, um, what was he renting out? Find all the treasure. Okay. And she was like, oh. He was returning swordfish. So yeah, that, that yeah, see that story was so worth it, you know? That story was amazingly worth uh, all that time that I spent trying to tell it, you know? Okay, so we have to find all the treasure. Is there more treasure in there? Okay, there's so there's apparently some in there that we can go get first while we're closer to while we're on this side of the screen, you know?
See, there's a pearl necklace next to the shelled one. These, he's not like a poisonous shelled one. Do, 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 do. But as I was saying, don't... Like, guys, don't underestimate this game just because it's a kid's game. I know it's not as... It doesn't have the gravitas that Echo 1 and 2 have. But it's still a damn fine game. A damn fun game. It's exceedingly fun. Like, I love it, you know? And it's not... Like, I think you're able... Like, as I say, you're able to enjoy the brilliant atmosphere of, of Echo 1 and 2 without any of the heartbreak, do that kind of way, because Echo 1 and 2, I'm telling you guys, for games about dolphins, they are some of the most frustrating games you have ever come across, do that kind of way, they are very hard. I hope to god this is all recorded. Okay, so we have it all except one. Okay, that's pretty far away. Boing. Yeah, so what I'm probably going to do today... That was a weird one. What I'm probably going to do today is I'm probably going to... Uh, good one, Fungi. Good on ya. Um, what I'm probably going to do today... I, I'd like to finish recording Comic Zone, because that needs to be finished uploading. Like, it's just that, like... Comic Zone really takes it out of me just because it's so hard. Look at that! <laughs> Fungi, wow. Um... Comic Zone really takes it out of me. It is a very stressful game to LP, you know? I've got lucky so far in that I haven't, like... What do I have to do? Oh, this is the one where I have to find, like, the hidden stonefish. Is that one? Yeah, there... Oh, jeez, I didn't think that that was him at all. Yeah, you have to find, like, the hidden stonefish. And they'll be, like, hidden in all the rocks. Um, but yeah, that, like, okay, there I see you. Um, what was I going to say? If you haven't played Echo 1 and 2, definitely go and play them, because they are extremely challenging, and extremely good. Like, for, for those of you who don't know, like, well, I, I should explain the story of this game. The story of this game is, like, the most benign story you could think of. Like, guess what it's about? It's about, we're Echo's son, Echo Jr. And we hear it through the grapevine that this giant whale, Big Blue, who, like, he's like this big, wise whale or whatever. We hear it on the grapevine that Big Blue is coming. To, um, so we, so, like, basically, Echo, Fungi, Echo Jr., Fungi, and Willy decide to go visit him since he's going to be in town. That is the storyline of Echo Jr. That's it, and this is basically... Basically, the game is just your journey there, so you're going through different areas towards where, uh... where Big Blue is, the Big Blue Whale. There I see it. Um, and that's basically it. You're not going away. Uh, that's the storyline of this game. Echo 1 and 2 have very different story- Oh my god, look at that fish. Um, Echo 1 and 2 have far more serious storylines, if you know what I mean. Like, well not if you know what I mean, of course you know what I mean. I, I say it as if it's like, with pornographic games, like, if they're serious, if you know what I mean. No, they're not serious in that respect. They're serious in the sense that, like, um... You're it. Tag a friend with the fish. Okay, so now we're tagging... First it was seashells. Then it was, a. Uh... Then it was jewels, and now it's fish. Where are you, you stupid dolphin? Okay, I see you. I'm just gonna get in and out. No, I'm pressing the wrong button, no wonder. Okay, you're over here. I see you. Okay, um, where are you? Where are you? Echo 1 and 2, like, they have this big storyline about, like, Echo is, like, given special powers from the, the gods or something. And not from the gods, like, from space. Like, and it's all about, like, Atlantis and the Atlanteans and everything. No, this is the wrong way. See, this is basically the same type of level as before, but harder because this place is bigger. No, get there. Yes, okay. Um, 
Like, they have this big serious storyline about, like, these aliens come down from space and abduct all the dolphins except Echo. Um, some oysters have a pearl inside. Find the hidden pearls. Okay. Um, first of all, let's change back to um, Echo Jr. since he's the star of the show and we want to be him at the end. I think we've shown everyone off in this classic Sega Summer video. Um... There we go. Now that wasn't so hard. Uh, and like basically these aliens come down from space. And they are scary looking aliens. I'm telling you this. They are like some of the scariest things. Like for a Sega game. Like and like they are really frightening. And like in the second one there are like these scary robot things. They're like really frightening. And um, basically they come and they abduct all the dolphins. But they don't abduct you. And your Echo who is like the chosen one by the Atlanteans or something by s and from space and and they basically give you a basically then you just go through a series of levels which are like puzzle adventure level survival like echo it's like a flipping survival horror game it's so scary because it's not scary it's just that, like you only have a limit you have a limited amount of health you have unlike in this game in echo 1 and 2 you have like a limited amount of air so you have to continuously like find your way to the surface and get timings perfect to be able to get back to the surface um every time like your air runs out derpy fish um so like it's really frightening. It gives you that same sense of like helplessness that that like Resident Evil gives you. Do you know what? And it's a game about a dolphin. Um, but yeah, I've I've i I've, I've never played that the 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 later Echo game, the one for uh. I've never played that Echo game for the Dreamcast, but I think they ported it to PS2. I'd like to play it sometimes, it looks really, like I've seen a couple of videos for it, and it looks really nice, like it looks really cool, so I'd like to play it sometime, do you know, it's, and it's in 3D, do you know, which might be fun, it might be annoying, but it might be fun, I can't believe we're nearly finished already, Seahorse Reef, the baby seahorse is lost, help her find her mother, and here we go, is this the Final Fantasy 9 music? I think this is another one like the baby turtle and the ball. That's her. Come on, let, I'll get you stuck to my nose. Yeah, like that, see? Go on, Echo Jr. or Echoween, as I could call him. Not that, that's not her mother. We need to find the seahorse mother. So it's, she's somewhere in this direction. Oh, do you know where I bet she is? I bet she's like up near the top on the right hand side. No, there she is. Okay, well that was simple. Okay. Get on my way, you crabs. There we go. These like bouncy crabs getting all up in my grill. So yeah, I'd like to like like I'd like to finish recording Comic Zone today and just get it done, just that kind of way because it's just I want to bring it to an end, you know. Bring all the okay. This is just the same as that one. Um. Um. I just, I want to get it done, Jodakun Amai. No, let's do the left, the left. Let's do the left hand side first. Is this one of them? Yeah, it is. Let's see if you can find more than one of them. Like, if you can, no, I guess you can't. No, maybe you can. No, I, I think it starts like zooming in on, yeah, this thing. Okay, there should be one like over here. I'm oh, not down there. Hey, seahorse. Get out my way, bouncy crabs. I wonder. Oh, I'd say we have to get up over that, like up and out, like Willy Wonka. But oh, but we have to like build up enough speed. Okay, let's let's try this. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Let's try it again. No, no, come on. Come on, Echoween. Come on, Echo Jr. Yes. Okay, is there anything over here? 
so we can get the one that's really out of the way. Out of the way. Watch now, I didn't even have to jump over that thing to get this one. There it is, okay. There we go. Um... So yeah, I, like, so that's my priority, is this. Get out of my way, crab. That's my priority, is this, and then Comic Zone. Because I'll, pro I'll probably have lunch, and then I'll have Comic Zone. I'll have lunch, and then I'll do Comic Zone. Um, I'm hoping Comic Zone doesn't start to become annoying, because I'm telling you guys this much, I'm warning you. If Comic Zone starts annoying me, then I'm just going to cancel it. You're not going to wait, because, like, I'm not going recording something that's not fun. Well, not cancel it, but I'm going to wait until, like, I don't care about getting it done this month just because it's 16-bit summer. You're not going to wait. I want to enjoy playing the game, so if it turns out that, like, it's just annoying me, then... Then I'm going to take a break from it until I feel like playing it again. Jodakan away. Oh, there's one right there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm saying right now about Comic Zone. Uh, hopefully it won't come to that because hopefully I'll be able to get it. See, I don't know, like, I, ne I never feel like, whenever I've recorded Comic Zone, I've only ever felt like recording one level. I've never felt like recording a couple of levels in a row just because it's really stressful because it's so hard. I'd say the last two are on this side of the level on the left. No, apparently one's over there, okay. Come on, Echo Jr. Wow, look how high we went. Oh, there's one right there. Good job! Good job! Um, but yeah, like, th th I hope it doesn't come to that because I'd like to just finish it. Like, I do like it, it's a cool game. But the thing is, like, it. whereas with Paper Mario, I could record, like, two hours of that and not get tired of it. And same with Last Story. Um, okay, no, that's not where I need to go. Hey, Willy. Um,. Like, whereas with them, I could record, like, two hours of it and have, like, eight episodes just, like, in the bag and still feel like recording them the next day. Comic Zone is so stressful because it's so hard. And it's, like, if you fail, then you have to go all... Then I have to, like, do the whole level over again. Do you know? And it's just, like... Mm. Was that not- Oh, so now we have to swim through it backwards. Well, sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully it doesn't come to that as I say, but we'll just have to see. Like, like I, 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 to be honest, even though I'd like to record all three other levels of Comic Zone today, it's probably going- I'm probably only going to record, uh, one, just because- What did I do? Okay. Okay, what did I do? I'm after doing something. Okay, wait a second. Let's wait a second. Wait, just wait two ticks, guys. Um I'm after doing something. Wait a second. Let me just save, okay? Resume. Okay, are we still recording? I hope so, okay. What do we have to do? Okay, what is this? This is like one of the last- Okay, we're nearly finished, holy crap! I shot this because I was- Okay, there's Fungi, so now we need to find Willy. Need to find Fungi and Willy. Where's Willy? Like, Willy in, uh, in Ghost. Oh, Fungi's following me! Willy! Where are you? Oh, down there somewhere. Yeah, this is the last level! Well... There's like another bit after this, but it's it's not really a level per se. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if you- I don't know how long this is gonna be, probably like... 40 minutes? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it if you watched the whole thing. 
what if you didn't watch the whole thing then I hope you enjoyed what you did watch so that kind of way I hope this is recording but uh because after I don't know what happened I think I like clicked off screen or something Okay, that was weird. I'm telling you, there's something sour about that ending victory theme. Look, we have all the jewels! The Endless Sea. No objective. And we get this brilliant De Fer De Cameron and Ferris Bueller music. Okay, so basically this last episode, this last uh, level is just... This is the Endless Sea. We've reached our goal. This is where Big Blue is gonna be. And there he is. Well, there's and his friend. I don't know who the other one of them is Big Blue anyway. I don't know who the other one is. And basically, I think this is just time based because it'll just kind of happen. Like, the, the level will just end. I think it might be when Big Blue and his friend get to a certain point because if you watch them, they like have set paths. Can, we can't like talk to Fungi and Willy, our two friends, but do you know, it's just like, like I love this last level because it's just so, like it has brilliant music, it's so relaxing, like I mean the most fun thing about Echo 1 and 2 is their controls, I mean look how tight the, this controls, it's so fast and just so smooth, the swimming is just amazing, the animations for swimming are brilliant as well. Like, look at that, it's just so smooth. Plenty of frames, like, in the swimming animation. Do you know? Like, if you stand still... Are they not, like, moving? Do you know? Like, I thought that one of them, like, went up towards the surface or something. I don't know, usually what I just do is play around and then something happens. Like one of I'm pretty sure one of them like goes up towards the surface of the sea. Like like and I don't know whether they like Joe I wish you could do in that game. Joe that thing where you go like backwards, where where not where you do, like where dolphins like go up on their tail and flip backwards on top of the water. I wish you could do that. I wonder if you can do that in the 3D echo. Because I saw you can do like some pretty crazy stuff. There's some pretty mental levels, you know. I wish they'd make another Echo game, you know. I, I think it'd be cool. Maybe they're following us. I didn't think of that. Come on, Big Blue and Big Blue's friend. They're definitely supposed to, like, move somewhere. I don't know, like, when they're scripted. Oh, is one of... Where's the other one? Oh, I thought he was gone. Anyway, this is the last level of Echo Jr. Just a nice, relaxing swim. As you can see, the sea... It's not exactly endless, because it does have an invisible wall here at the edge. You know, as it does at the other edge as well. You know, they definitely are like moving around because look at them. But I can't, I don't know whether it's like just because like they're on the same sprite layer as us or if they actually are scripted to move to certain parts. I definitely know that one of them goes up to the surface at one point. I don't know when they're supposed to do it. Maybe they have to be like off screen to move. I don't know, but uh, yeah, look, we're our three friends. So yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I suppose I should take this time, since we're just, like, faffing about here, to actually, like, say that I'm sorry that there haven't been videos for almost a month. But as I say, that's just the way it had to be, to that kind of way. It's just, like, like, I just didn't have anything recorded, and if I, can't, if I don't record things, I can't upload things. One thing I should ask you guys, if you are watching at this stage, which I would totally understand if you weren't watching, because this thing is probably going to be an hour long, is, one thing I should ask is, is everyone, can, is, does everyone have access to the scheduled uploader now? Well, maybe I shouldn't ask that now, maybe I should ask that in Paper Mario when, like, more people are watching. Hey, Big Blue. We came all this way to see you. But yeah, I... See, he's moving! Okay, I knew it. Maybe I just had to hang around here. 
Yeah, look, one of them is like moving up to the top, to the surface. I was obviously doing something wrong. Look, and he's like spraying. Go big blue. And I can't move anymore. This must be the end. Um. Yep, that's the end of the game. Um. So yeah, that's the end of Echo Jr. But yeah, I've heard kind of tell from someone else that I watch, like who's just she's doing like a Mass Effect LP. Um, but, like I've heard like that. Does Tim say that we have access to the scheduled uploader, even though we're not partners or whatever? But uh, here we get the Cameron music again. I'm not doing this, by the way. This is like a video, like at the end of cutscene. But uh. If we do have access to the scheduled uploader, then I might be able to improve the quality of videos. Like, not things like Pokemon Silver, because, like, why would I bother? But, uh, show things like The Last Story, especially, I'd be able to improve the quality once I get back to college, because, uh, if I, when I'm at college, I can upload extremely quickly. Like, a, a, a huge, like, even, like, a huge video will take, like, literally about five minutes to upload because the upload speed is so fast so if i'm there then i can just like let's say on monday morning upload like all the videos for the week on the scheduled upload or do that kind of way and it doesn't matter how big they are um because the only reason i don't do my videos in higher quality is because i don't have the upload speed here to do it at home like videos just take too long to upload um so I kind of had to find the the co compromise between good video quality and low file size, which is hard to do with games like The Last Story that are newer. It's easy with 16-bit and 8-bit games, you know. Um, thanks for playing, Echo Jr. But yeah, if it's the case that we have the scheduled uploader, then I might be able to improve the quality for our Last Story than when, uh, we're, when I'm back at college. But at any rate... It says thanks for playing Echo Jr. And I'm here to say thanks for watching Echo Jr. As part of the classic Sega Summer. Bye.